Well, it's uh, Monday morning. I didn't go out yesterday because uh, I wanted a day off. But today, out again. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going. It's a very early morning. And um, yeah, quite frankly, uh, quandary sometimes what to do in July. It's not always the best anywhere to go. So I'm just going to drive off to um, the levels and have a look around and see what I can see. And that is as good as it gets today, I'm afraid. Well, one thing about the levels is that we have um, common cranes, which were not so common, and it's always nice to see. So, although it's still pretty early, uh, the light is certainly not good enough for um, photos at the moment. Um, I would like to sort of have a quick look around here because if you can hear them calling, um, before they fly, then you can get a good um, lock on to them, and that is the key with crane. Quite a lot of the time, is because the areas you're dealing with are pretty vast. If you get the call, you can lock it into their location. Where I was going to go, sometimes it's cranes, but it's not particularly reliable. Um, I've had more success down this way. But this is the first time I've been to this specific bit um, it's it's just it's just a trying thing it's it's um, I've got no really good solid site so I've just decided today I'm just gonna have a look and see if I can find a good spot um, I don't expect to find it straight away if I do that's great if I don't well that's more the sort of normal um, but yeah, it's more the normal sort of thing with wildlife, I'm afraid. But this is this is the part of the process. You've got to go out, have a look, see what you can find. If you find a good spot, go back again, see if it works again, and then that's that's it. Once you've nailed it, you've nailed it. But that's part of the fun, really. And like I said, in July, there isn't really much option for you. Um, migration hasn't started, and personally, that is what I love. It's when the new birds um, start arriving from up north heading back down to, on their migration to Africa in the autumn and that's very fun and exciting and you get new stuff all the time but in July you stuck with the um, sort of normal breeding uh, populations and you've just got to kind of um, enjoy that not get too frustrated by it um, and do we got to do I mean I've not seen cranes since coming back um, so let's let's have a look, see what we can see. Well, I'm no expert, but I think that's fairly conclusive. That's otter. See the size of the track coming out. It's come up here, ate its uh, victim. Lots of white feathers. I actually wonder if it. Um, if that was an, e uh, an egret that it ate. Fairly sure it would be. But yeah, come to the levels, there's otters. And you see signs like this. It's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. But that's uh, definitely very likely. Um, not seen much else. Um, But uh, I have seen uh, a hare out in the field, took a little snap of that. The light is still very, um, uh, very poor at the moment, so you just got to kind of take that into account. But otherwise, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I think there's a buzzard flying onto a tree over there. Yeah, interesting. Okay, we'll keep walking around and see what we can see. Well, uh, no cranes. I have seen them here in July. In fact, the very first time I came here, um, 
I, I actually saw them uh, was in July and it was they were coming in to roost it was in the evening so the theory being that um, you know come in the morning and they would still be around before you know they fly off is a fairly um, good tactic I don't think there's anything wrong with it but no there's nothing here this wasn't the exact spot either the exact spot was more over there um, in fact where they see that sort of distant sort of area just down there but it doesn't matter like I said this was just a, an exploratory mission to sort of see what I could see um, it's nice it's, the light's getting a bit better which is always good um, it's a bit easier to spot stuff get a bit more detail I'm really lucky that these binos are some top-notch bit of kit and they let a lot of light in so I can spot a lot of things bef before uh, the light gets good and then I just get the big camera out and, and have a bash with that but um, yeah so far so good can't complain the only thing that I really don't like about the um, the levels is the traffic I don't know if you can hear the cars but it's quite heavy um, in what is you know a very sort of wild wildernessy type sort of feel and getting those cars is noises can be a bit jarring but um I'm not gonna moan oh god look at that light perfect really nice okay well, I'm going to go off to um, the place I was the other day um, in my last episode and I'm going to see if I can get some, uh, some more cool shots there. There was It was quite dark the day I went there the, uh, the other day, so now that the light seems to be a little bit better, although there is quite a bit of cloud still over that side, I might get some uh, interesting pictures, I might see some interesting things, who knows, let's have a go. So, yeah, in the winter time, uh, this place, I'm going to start sending them, this is a Grey Lake RSPB, um, it's a very, very nice reserve, it's very small, it's very easily accessible, um, it's, um, it has fantastic opportunities to get quite close to stuff that you don't normally get close to, and one thing is the... Um, that I really like about this place in the winter is how close you get to the wildfowl and um, to things like uh, water rail, uh, Chetty's warbler, that sort of thing. Um, the summertime is very different. It's um, I went through this the other day with this place. It's quite difficult um, because of the growth of the plants. I mean, you can see this reed bed is substantial. Um, very thick lots and lots of um, places for things to hide so of course in the summertime that makes it very difficult for um, birders and photographers wildlife enthusiasts of any type to get uh, good views of the birds that are in here but um, I haven't been down to this part of the reserve yet for a while um, but I'm hoping that because it's quite early morning there might be some water rail and it might be clear enough to take pictures but I'd, I'm not holding much hope I'm just gonna have a look and see how it goes well the lights um, getting quite bright now uh, I think it's what they call harsh light I've had some pretty amazing close-ups of the Kingfisher um, which wasn't totally unexpected, but it was good to see it so well. Um, I really hope that the photos came out good. I think the stills will come out well. The motion is still a bit of an issue. I'm, I'm getting quite a lot of blur on the wings, and uh, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'll, 
I've been on it since the start. I'm still learning at this photography stuff, so um, it's just exciting to me because I, I, it's something, it's a skill that I, I can nail at some point, and when I do, it's going to feel really good. I think if you just got it all straight away, you wouldn't feel so great. But um, yeah, slight downer on the on the um, uh, vlogging camera damaging the lens, but it's, it's, I've decided to look at it as a positive. I'm going to go back. Um, put it in for repair and maybe buy a second backup lens. I think it's taught me a lesson that a backup lens is quite handy. Um, obviously I'm planning on going away next month on a big trip so you know having a, a backup lens in case this one uh, has a similar incident again is going to be a, another learning curve. Also I'm going to get myself a little dump in the army used to have dump pouches what they're called big big pouches that you used to put your um, magazines into when you were finished uh, with the firing um, all the rounds out of them and I think that'd be great for this camera I could just dump it in pull it out video video vlog back in again the um, bum bag is okay but obviously it's not completely secure and that's why it fell out and damaged the lens so and it always takes a lot of it's quite fiddly getting um, the camera in and out as well so yeah some birds which is always good some good photos hopefully like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see